Welcome to another episode of SpaceX in the News. I'm Kevin, and today we're going to focus on Starship updates and the recent tornadoes that almost toppled it. Again, then we'll get into some good news and bad news for Starlink and finish with today's honorable mention. Let's do it. Okay, so Monday morning, heavy storms slammed the southern tip of Texas. A water spout was spotted off South Padre Island, and tornadoes touched down in Boca Chica, knocking down a slew of power lines and causing power outages in both areas. The tornadoes even touched down within a mile of SpaceX's Starship facility, but no major damage was caused and no serious injuries were reported in either case. SpaceX's use of solar panels and Tesla batteries helped the company alleviate problems caused by the local blackouts. They're currently making haul rings for the Mark III Starship prototype and upgrading the launch pad for Mark I's 20-kilometer flight. However, the local road closures that were scheduled have since been canceled, and Gary Henry, Senior Director of National Security Space Solutions at SpaceX, confirmed that the 20-kilometer flight will now happen in about two months. Gary also stated that the fourth reuse of a Falcon 9 booster will take place early next year and not on the next Starlink launch as we discussed in our last episode. The next Starlink launch, Starlink 1, has also been delayed until November. No reason was given, and the current lull in SpaceX launches continues. It seems their rocket reuse turnout has gotten so efficient they now outpace their customers. But there is some good news to share. After a brief Twitter hiatus, Elon tweeted a message using the batch of Starlink stats they put into orbit a few months ago, and he was pleasantly surprised to see that his message got through. I can sure empathize with him. I have that same emotional feeling every time I do anything right. Oh wow, would you look at that? It's already time for today's honorable mention. As many of you are well aware, NASA wants to get back to the moon by 2024 through their Artemis program, and now several of their contractors have decided to team up to help make that happen. It was just last May that Blue Origin held an event to reveal their new lander, but yesterday at the 2019 International Astronautical Congress in Washington, D.C., Jeff Bezos announced Blue Origin's new alliance with Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman, and Draper to build NASA's human landing system. With Blue Origin being the prime contractor, they'll lead the program management, systems engineering, safety and mission assurance, and mission engineering while providing the descent stage based off of their current Blue Moon lander. Lockheed Martin will develop the ascent stage, Northrop Grumman will provide work on the transfer vehicle that will bring the lander towards the moon, and Draper will work on the guidance and avionics. Lunar lander proposals are due to NASA by November 1st, and only two will be selected for full-scale development. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I want to thank my eccentric patrons who support this channel and make these episodes happen. If you're interested in doing the same, there's a link in the description. Thank you so much for tuning in, and until I see you in the next one, Godspeed.